Hello guys, welcome to Clash of Clans. This is JL. Today, actually, um, I'm coming back to this main clan, and because uh, we are approaching to the Chinese New Year, and uh, all of a lot of clan members they they can't play, so we have we had a small clan war yes two days ago, and we lost um, the war to WAF of a UAE, and it's a really strong clan. And they said they can crush you um, on the attack. So it's a new clan. This is uh, only level three. However, they can three star our town hall eleven and get very high percentage of destruction. Like this, ninety six percent, eighty five percent, ninety eight. Some a some low, but mostly pretty high percentage of destruction. The strategy they use is actually only one type. That is, I'm going to show you now, is the witch's strategy. And as you can see, since the golem has been nerfed, it's not golem being nerfed, since the eagle artillery, the big bird, the eagle, uh, they do triple damage to the golem, so that most people don't want to use golem anymore for their clan war attack. So they just pure using the witches so this strategy is uh, you don't always get three started it's just you need it depends on luck but for two star it more likely to happen a lot more than three star So you can actually using this strategy to aiming for two star if you're lucky and you can get a three star attack. Um, this kind of attack I feel like um, it's kind of. Uh, no strategy at all. Just release them and then waiting for three star and then just uh, activate your skill on time, and that's all. And then waiting, uh, wish you're lucky and to get three star. There's no much strategy involved, and for a lot of Tonga Elevens, they love to use this strategy, and it also depends on the um, base design and where you put your heroes. If you put all your heroes together, it may not gonna work. It has to separate a little bit. It's just right to three star. It's not easy, but it has some luck in the side. So this strategy, um, it's hard. You, you can't practice because the strategy is not there. It's just some luck involved. And if you try to do regular farming bases, it's too expensive to use that strategy. It's hard and it's hard to practice with this strategy. So you can only use that on clan war and wish you have good luck on this strategy. So the next video I'm going to show you is going to be some skill strategy instead of just using pure uh, witches. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay, so actually they're using all the same strategy. I can show you uh, the the preview of what they use, what kind of troop they use. As you can see, this guy is using about the same troop, 18 witches, and then 8 earthquake spells, and then jump spell. Which jump spell works the same way as earthquake spell. So I'm not going to show you this. So I'm going to show you the clan where we're going to end right now. And we actually did pretty good. We were... Again, we are against to the strongest Hong Kong clan. Is another Chinese clan, and they are okay strong. They are not as strong as what they said. The strongest Hong Kong clan, and they couldn't even three star any of our Town Hall Eleven. We only have fifteen. No, is it twenty or fifteen? Yeah, we had twenty five of us, and they couldn't even three star any of us. But we did three star six of them. So let me show you the FWS master. He made another miracle attack 
three star their max town hall, not max town hall eleven, but high town hall eleven. So this town hall eleven pretty is pretty much max out, but heroes. So let me show you his strategy again. Dragon and wizard is his. That's his strategy. That the best strategy he uses all the time, and he's good at this. And I don't know how he can three star this, but um, but it just happens. But uh, if you try to use giant and wizard strategies, the first thing you need to care about is the ego. You have to know where is the ego to decide what strategy you're gonna use. If the ego is in the center, and I don't recommend using ego uh, giant and wizard because the giant will die just by one hit of uh, by the ego. Okay, so the Archer Queen is taking down the Lava Hound. Okay. So uh, the Archer Queen should be taking down the. Yeah, there you go. Archer Queen is going to take down this Eagle, which is inside the second layer of walls. And then Dragon them. Wizard is going to attack from 5 o'clock. Yeah, once the Eagles die, it's no different than a Town Hall 10. He also prepared some um, hot rudders, which is going to help to clean out the side. Usually, using giant and wizards, you're going to use one golems to attack the left side, and the giant go to the center. Because in this kind of base design, it's hard to split into two strands, like two paths. So he used hot rudders to clean up the left side, which is from 7, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Use Hawk Rider to clean up the side buildings defenses instead of uh, using a golem and some wizards because a golem and wizard is very limited at beginning because golem can jump over the wall and if you want them to jump over the wall then you need to bring wall breakers or jump spell so using Hawk Riders sometimes is more efficient in this case and is in this case is better because uh, your giant and wizard is already going first, so that most of the defense are attacking your giants and wizards, and your hog rider will be safe, and they just jump in to clean up the side defenses. And that was really well planned out and a nice attack. I'm going to show you the second attack that our strong like member they did it, and that attack was really awesome. I'm gonna show you. So this attack is using the air attack. To using air attack in Town Hall 11 again, no matter what strategy you use, you have to consider where's the ego. You're gonna take down the ego first. If you don't think uh, that's your first priority, then it more likely you're going to end up to fail the three star or even two star attack. To two star any Town Hall 11, it's pretty easy, and even you're from Town Hall 10, you can use giant. And wizard, that one uh, is I don't recommend for two sword, and I recommend using dragon and balloon dragon for two sword town hall eleven. I have a couple video on that. You can check them out. So you can clearly see this eagle is like um, two. Yeah, if you want to uh, attack the eagle, you're gonna break two layer of walls, which you need to use about six. Wall breakers, but if you have race spell, two wall breakers will be enough for one layer, so four wall breaker will be working really well. So he used one race spell, and then he's gonna use another race spell. It's pretty 
like he spent a lot of two space to walk all the way into the center and he pays a lot uh, spaces here just try to take down this eagle artillery and not only that he's going to take down the archer queen going to take down the uh, infern tower as well see now the uh, the new hero the grand warden popped the scale and then archer queen is now dying that's really better like a lot better than any other skill. Protecting your queen can make your queen last a lot longer and that one really works well. And your queen will still survive by now then she's gonna clean up the whole thing at the end. That attack was really awesome. You can clearly see that he uh, landed his free spell on top of Infern Tower and Air Sweeper instead of the X Bolt because Air Sweeper does more not damage like affect more to your balloon than X Bolt. This Grand Warden followed a weird path. He only doing support. So whenever whenever you're you're actually the main troops attacking, he's jumping over and helping them. So uh, his AI, what is what do you call that? I A A is weird. Like the way he targeted to the troops is really weird, and I don't know. It's hard to use this. I never had the chance to use that. Let me show you another W F W S attack he's going to use another drain and wizard I love to watch his video um, since Tonghan 11 coming out I don't see his because like, I don't visit him that much because he's in the main clan our main clan is going to be all Tonghan 11 and then the uh, the another clan is going to be most mostly Tonghan 9s and 10s so since we are separate and I, it's hard for me to ask him and uh, how do you do attack for Tango 11 because it's not relevant to me anymore and it's hard there's almost no way for me to 3 star Tango 11 again he used similar strategy as last one try to break in one layer of war like this corner to make sure your archer queen go into the center to three uh, not three star to take down the eagle once the eagle is down then you can just release your dragon and wizards including the golem in this case he actually brought two golems and this time he brought less hawk riders So um, the giant and wizard is gonna come in. I hate to see attacking this lava hound. It's gonna take forever. There you go. Okay, now the giant and golems is coming in. Yeah, as I told you uh, last video, not last video, the first replay I told you. And usually this strategy is one golem on the left side. Your wizard gonna clean, help to clean. It's very limited. Once this box is clean, and then your wizard and dragon pretty much stay there, or like died. Not like your hog riders. Your hog rider can actually go forward. It really depends on how heavy the defense in those boxes. So he also used two hog riders to help. If those two boxes are like heavy duty defense, yeah, golem and wizard doing a clean up faster than hog riders. Because one golem is equivalent to six hog riders, where six hog riders clean up much slower than golems and four wizards. So that was another awesome attack. And 
he got a six star this time and that was really awesome the last clan war we lost he actually tried but he failed he failed both attack that's why it, you, you can't three star all the time it's just like sometimes you need some luck sometimes when you're out of luck it's so hard to just getting three star and for town hall 11 i don't think at the beginning it was easy because people don't know how to uh, design their base but now people know how to locate their uh, eagle how to locate their defense for town hall 11 and it's hard to three start now so and um, that's why i feel it's really really hard for now for me to three start town hall 11 and the first update came out it was pretty easy even you have eagle and now the eagle can do like double triple damage to the golems and it will take less amount of troops to trigger the eagle instead of 150 troop space i will show maybe uh, showing you guys another one uh, to test out how many new troop space to activate the eagle i heard there's some change of there but i'm not sure i will do that test again So this strategy is using and which is strategy which is a little bit different we don't like the strategy where you release all your witches and wish your good luck and we try to use some strategy and so this attacker to let's go sir uh purse purser the attacker purser he actually using archer queen to clean up pretty much a quarter of the base and then with 13 witches coming in in the center, then a quarter of the defense are already gone. And he didn't use much uh, uh, like earthquake spell or jump spell. He still have a free spell and a race spell, which can make your witches attack a lot faster. And with some wizards mixed in the middle, uh, in the group of these witches, so your damage will actually really like be really really high. So that that can help you to clean faster, because if your witches die, your wizard will die. So why not just adding a couple wizards inside the witches, so they can help to take down a lot of things faster. Especially things like uh, in the other side of the wall, and like waiting your skeletons to knock down the wall and take down the defense. A couple. Wizards can do a lot better job than those little skeletons, right? So that's difference. That's some strategy involved. Instead of just release all your all your witches and then waiting, like wish for good luck. That's all. So I think this one was a lot better, well planned, it, and then the chance of three star is will it will be a lot more stable. If that happens again, maybe this is another three star. But for the pure witches, just do the same attack again. Maybe you can get a 3 star. Maybe not. So the rest of two base was Tanghao 9 and Tanghao, even Tanghao 8. So they had two little, like, very weak base I can show you. So it's not worth it to show you. It's only, only Tanghao 9. And the last one is only Tanghao 8. And it's Chinese New Year. And... It's not only for Chinese, it's for most of the Asian country, for Korean too, it's a Lunar New Year. And then, wish all of you have good holiday in your city. We actually have a school day off on Monday. So, see you next week. Bye.